Hey, my name is Ross St. Louis, and today I'll be talking to you about dilemmas concerning globalization and information technology. Okay, let's talk about globalization in general. In the modern era, it could be defined as the development of regional and international trade over localized trading. This combined with information technology has resulted in a single virtual world market. Globalization is not new. It's a naturally reoccurring theme where individuals come together to reap the benefits of each other's skill sets or resources. This theme can be seen in primitive schemes of division of labor in ancient villages where each individual or group had their own specialty in which they would use to acquire resources that they could use to trade for other resources. As time went on, some regions became more efficient at producing certain goods than others. Regions began trading their particular good or services to other regions for resources they could not acquire themselves. This resulted in regions becoming more integrated and dependent on each other, which is a fundamental characteristic of globalization. As for IT, it itself is defined as the use of technological systems for storing and exchanging information. Corporations use these systems to make decisions pertaining to the direction of their company based on what information they have about their customers in their databases. Thanks to advances in computing such as the microprocessors, the depth and amount of information that can be analyzed by these systems have reached mind-blowing proportions, allowing corporations to have access to individual specific information about their customers. IT also gives corporations the ability to easily monitor their affairs from a centralized location due to the fact that most transactions are done over the phone or through the World Wide Web. Through the use of special software, corporations can easily record and track their own transactions. IT also has the effect of increasing the efficiency of businesses when operating in multi-market environments. There was a study called the Productivity Payoff of Information Technology where researchers hypothesized that it would be more readily adopted by companies doing business in multi multiple markets. Because IT helps corporations deal with the complexity of expanding a corporation, thus making the company more efficient. Although the study only focused on smaller size firms, their results showed that as exporting or multi-market firms implemented IT into their businesses, business models, the productivity of the firm increased as well. This increased performance was attributed to the decrease of costs in research and development as well as the costs associated with internal and external coordination. Globalization in IT can have many positive impacts. It allows information to, to more easily permeate through society through mediums such as the internet, media, or telecommunication devices. This has resulted in the transparency of the business world today. Businesses as well as, as governments are held more accountable due to this transparency. The rise in accountability has started the trend of companies promoting sustainable and honest business practices to build a trustworthy relationship with the public, thus giving them an advantage over their competitors. The enhanced flow of information enabled by globalization and IT has also been a driving force for the sustainability movement, allowing information about environmental issues to spread on a global scale. As a result, people today are more aware of the vital concepts of social injustice, citizen participation, and ecological awareness. Globalization and information technology can also have many negative impacts. Marketing statisticians have actually observed an increase between the GDPs of wealthy developed nations and poor developing nations. Between 1990 and 2003, which is commonly known as the beginning of modern globalization and IT, 54 countries experienced losses in their total GDP, with the bottom 5% losing a quarter of their income while the top 
experience a 12% rise in their own. This suggests that there is some kind of exploitation happening in the global market. As for IT outsourcing, studies have found that IT reduces costs associated with non-IT aspects of a company. However, these are only short-term benefits. In a Forbes article written by Panos Mordukatos, he explains that outsourcing is only an advantage when a company's competitors do not participate in it. If they do, the advantage disappears. Outsourcing combined with IT also undermines a local worker's advantage over foreign workers, which is their physical presence in the company. IT allows foreigners to be virtually in the country rather than physically. Also, the interconnection enabled by globalization and IT can also cause a loss in a nation's identity due to the fact that through the use of IT mediums, cultures can more easily diffuse into each other. Researchers have also found ways to mitigate the negative impacts of globalization and IT. Through the concept of relocalization, which is just moving business closer to home, companies can spur innovation to happen within their own nations. This benefits their own economies while preserving and enhancing their own culture. Moving business closer to home also reduces the chance for companies to act opportunistically during business interactions due to the fact that businesses could more easily monitor their partners physically. As for outsourcing to work more efficiently, long-term trustworthy relationships must be built between outsourcing companies and its partners, according to a Forbes article written by Cora. In this article, the author states focusing on long-term incentives is the only sustainable way to be productive. This entails partners monitoring the ethical status of each other's companies. Education, however, seems to be the key according to a study done in India pertaining to the education and globalization. The study implied that governments need to properly educate their population when participating in global free trade to mitigate the negative impacts of globalization while also reaping the benefits. This is true because being the less educated party during a trade usually opens up the opportunity for exploitation. And that's it. Here are some sources that will give you more details about this issue.